five straight win. How how what did you notice about your team's growth so far in the last five games? That we're you know we're we're playing good basketball. I think we're we're healthy. I mean I mean Rui missed tonight, but we're we've been we've just been playing good. We're playing hard, and the road trip was good for us. And we came back and we've taken care of our first three games at home. We wanted to start playing better at home, and I think we have. Um, we haven't made a lot of shots, but we're 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 counter that with some good defense. Our defense has been good for the last couple of months, so we got to just keep doing that and getting to the free throw line and and our shooters are going to get a, have a hot streak here soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ava. We've got um you talked about how well Davis has been shooting since he came back from his calf strain. How much of a difference did he make tonight especially uh when they got hot from 3 in the second quarter there? Yeah, no, he's uh he's a difference maker. He's one of the key key players um, when we're having success, he's usually in the middle of it. And with his three point shooting, even if he misses it, or even if he doesn't take a shot, just the threat to have him out there. And we all know we got a lot of good looking threes tonight. Um, and we didn't make as many as we want other than, other than DB, but we need it. We need it. He, we, if he shoots 12 threes a night, I would be the happiest coach in the league. I think he, he should be able to, get 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 up to those attempts pretty consistently but when he when he shoots threes it, it makes us a better team and what is it about the defense that you're seeing either differently or, or something that you're liking a little bit more in this uh latest stretch well i think just from the it's been so choppy all season with the things that we've had to deal with but i think we're, we're getting getting in better shape as a team as the last you know the last couple of months I said earlier things People are affected by the things that have happened to us differently. But I think I think we're getting our – I don't know if it's like February on. We've been pretty good defensively. I know we, we didn't come out of the all-star break playing good basketball or getting wins against the best teams in basketball. But I, I like how we're playing defense. We're, we're getting better into the ball. I don't think we're fouling as much. Um, we're not getting beat by, you know, C moves, we like to call them. Guys are going to have to give their best stuff to, you know, get around us, get to the paint. I think we're doing, we're definitely doing a much better job defensively and in rebounding the basketball as well. Fred. Hey, Scott. Um, this is not the first time you guys have won seven out of eight this year. Uh, and last time you had kind of a fall off after seven out of eight. Did you guys learn anything or did you learn anything in the aftermath of that that post seven out of eight street last time that you can apply to this, or are they two totally separate situations? Yeah, I think they're two totally separate situations. I know. Is that the last Then we came back and played Memphis and Milwaukee twice? Yeah, it's, um, we tried, I try to change the lineup, try to anticipate their bigs. Um, because they, 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 we were playing against a bunch of bigs, Philadelphia as well in that mix. Um, didn't work out. I, 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 I take ownership of that, um, but I think we're going to be, you know, we're focused on just continue to play good basketball. Um, sometimes you have to uh, make things, you know, change things up. Back then, I think we're, at, I think at that time we've lost three out of four. Then I made the change, if my memory is correct. But focus on the next game. The Warriors are, you know, playing well. Curry's on the hottest streak that we've seen in a long time by any player in the league history. And he's feeling good. I think he had 49 uh, tonight. So um, we just got to focus on playing, playing the next game and, and locking into it. It's, I know it's a cliche, but it's really very important for us to do that. Matt. Uh, hey, Scott, what did you make of the way that, you know, the Thunder came back a couple of times, but you know, the, you guys responded each time, it seemed like. Yeah, you know, we we know they lost, I think, 10 in a row coming into the game. We knew when you're when you lose that many games, you're not you're not just like trying to count the games down and just get out of the season and focus on next year. You want to get a win. It's a horrible feeling to be in. Um, the team, the team plays hard. They got a lot of young players that play hard and they're going to they're going to get a win. 
Um, hopefully it's not Friday night, but they're going to get a win. They play hard. They got a they got a bright future ahead of them. They just got they're building the they're building the foundation, and you have to go through that. Nobody wants to go through it, but you can't skip steps to getting good. We've been there before with that team, and and I'm sure that's what they're focusing on doing the same thing. And your centers went 16 of 18 from the field. I know you talked about kind of the big mind by committee approach and how this is maybe the first time you're doing it, but is this going better than you maybe expected? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had no, absolutely zero clue on what would happen. I mean, everybody, nobody plays three centers and I'm, I actually enjoy it. I can't wait for the next game and trying to figure out ways and lineups with them, with our team and then opponents you know some guys have trouble guarding Rolo some guys have trouble guarding Alex and some guys have trouble guarding Gaff's athleticism but it, it's been it's been great and also I mean it's not a, it's not a very uh you know trendy thing to have post-up plays and you know Rolo is a post-up player and he's dynamic in that spot and and I know it, it goes against a lot of the analytics but I like I like where he is as a player. I like what he brings to our team. He's been enjoyable to coach. I mean, like I said, I enjoy coaching the three centers. Thanks. All right, we'll finish up with Ben. Scott, uh, you've won seven of eight. You did it in February too. Um, you've seen what this team is capable of. Um, do you think that? Uh, You've played your best basketball yet, and if not, what is the ceiling for this team? No, I think we're gonna we're gonna continue to. I think we have a chance to get take another step in the right direction. I mean, we got to get we got to get some consistency um, with uh, with our health. We're gonna get Rui back soon. I don't know, maybe I don't know if it's next game or the next game, but you know, it's it's not nothing serious, but it's serious enough to keep him out tonight. Uh, but I think then we got to get a nice little rhythm, and then. Ish has, you know, Ish has been out for two months. I thought he had some good moments. I thought he had some moments that you can tell that he's been out for two months. It's going to take him a couple of weeks to get back into his, you know, normal self. And we're going to get better shooting. I, I know it. I know it. I know it. I mean, DB is going to help that. Sometimes when you have one of the best shooters on the court, it's contagious. And, you know, we're going to get him. He's missed a couple of games with the birth, birth of his baby boy. And then he had his calf, but I think that's all be the calf is definitely behind him. He's going to have to have a lot of sleepless nights, but those are the, those are the nights that you don't mind not sleeping because you get to be with your, your, your son. Uh, but I, I think we can, I think we can still play better basketball down the stretch. I think what do we have 15 games left, but we're just focusing on, you know, the next game against the Warriors. That's not going to be easy. We beat them a couple of weeks ago and, and they're like, like I said, Steph, Steph is on a tear that it's fun to watch, but it's going to be very difficult to coach. But we're going to have to do a very good job of take, taking him, hoping he misses some shots. Brad, uh, obviously you guys have won seven out of eight before, but then, you know, didn't have the continuation that you guys would have liked. What's the key? What's being said in the locker room to keep you guys focused um, as you guys hit this stretch run? Uh, first phrase, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh... We just take it a game at a time. You know, that's been our motto and our mindset, you know, the last six, seven. You know, we've just one game at a time, one day at a time. You know, that's all we can control. We obviously know we'll need a little help from some other teams. But, you know, as far as what we can control and our destiny is, you know, we, we know we can go out and compete and try to win every night. And uh, we know we're, we're capable of doing that. So we just take it a game at a time, keep that same mental approach of, you know, keep building on, you know, the success we've been having. Don't get tired of it. Other people have also said, you know, one day at a time, one game at a time. Scott has said it. Has that been the approach previously, or is that something new that's come to this team this season? Uh, I mean, it's, it's been the approach, but, I mean, we literally play every other day. So uh, you, you kind of have to approach it literally as a day at a time. You know, we schedule so crazy uh, year, so it's going by so fast. You know, you, you can't be stuck on, you know, what's happening last game or whatever. You know, you just got to. Dwell on that day, whether it's practice, whether it's an off day, you know, focus on getting better. And then, you know, the following day is always a game day. So just making sure your mental is right and you're ready to go. Uh, we just been constantly building on it and trusting, trusting the work we've been putting in on, on days we can't get work in. And, uh, you know, we come out and know that at this point in the year, everybody's hurt, everybody's banged up, everybody's tired. 
Uh, it's just a matter of who wants them more. Fred. Hey, Brad. Uh, have you ever seen a team at any level run a three center rotation for this long? <laughs> no. What, uh, what is your reaction to seeing that happen and having it like actually work well for you? I mean, it, it keeps us with fresh bigs in the game, um, but it, it also keeps teams up, you know, on their toes because we get some versatility out of all of them. You know, we get something different out of every big, you know, a Lynn is a big time screener, catch finish guy, block shots, Gafford's more lob threat, you know, block shots and Rolo's a hook king. So, we uh we 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 got a we got our we got a nice versatility of bigs and like you said I've never seen it one last as long uh, I honestly never seen really a three big rotation in a long time so uh, usually a lot of teams were forced to four to you know to be a bag of five or something like that so uh, we legit have you know three fives that are that are giving us great minutes so if it ain't broke don't fix it Ava hey Brad um. Obviously, you guys relish kind of playing and being in contention this time of year, but this might be a weird question, but after all you guys have been through this year, what does it feel like for everything to kind of be coming together at this time right now? Uh, it feels great, but obviously we wish it could have happened earlier in the year. Uh, you know, we, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot, obviously, with the way we've been playing and all the excuses we can make and round up. Um, but still, you know, it's a great feeling of knowing that, you know, we're figuring it out. Guys are growing. And, uh, you know, guys are starting to really play, you know, top level basketball. Um, so uh, we just keep building on it. You know, like you, like I said, it, it definitely sucks that kind of happens towards the end of the year. We wish we could have happened early in the year, middle of the year. But, you know, it happened now and that's all we can control. But, you know, we can accept that and keep pushing forward. And after growing accustomed to super quiet arenas all year, you guys are going to have fans back next game. Do you, I guess, is it going to feel normal again? Or is there, do you feel like there's going to be an adjustment period again? Uh, a little bit of both. I mean, because we go from not having fans at all to, you know, we'll have some in the building. So it'll be an adjustment. Uh, we'll probably be a little jittery or excited, but, uh, you know, that's, so we've been looking forward to it. We've been having, we had like a little soft opening at night with some fans in the building. So it's good to be able to just see faces besides these cardboard cutouts. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely happy and excited about it. We get our fans back. We we experienced that on the road with a lot of teams with, with their fans. So it'd be good to be able to have some home court advantage. Christos. Hello, Brad. Congratulations on the win. Five straight wins for your team. How's that feeling and the mood in the team right now? Uh, we feel good. Um, we're confident in where we are. Um, obviously, you know, we're, we're trying to put ourselves in a position to be in a play in and hopefully make the, make the playoffs, uh, get a good seed. But, uh, you know, we obviously need the help of other teams too, but we just focus on what we can control and, and getting better every day. You know, we, we definitely feel good where we are. Uh, we're excited, you know, we're happy. But, you know, we're not complacent with where we are either. We want to continue to get better uh, each and every day. And did you see real growth in the team and the way that you play in the last five games? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think just in terms of closing out games, uh, being locked in on the defensive end and getting stops when we need to, uh, those have been all, like, testaments to our growth this year. You know, early in the year, we wouldn't be able to close out games. And, uh, we would struggle and obviously having guys healthy helps too. So, uh, you know, we're, we're actually able to finally put a full team together of guys to go out there and compete. And, uh, you know, it's always beneficial when, when you have, you got some soldiers out there. So uh, we just continue to build on what we've been doing and uh, continue to pull for one another. Last question to Matt Harris. Hey, Brad. Um, I know that, You've said that you don't care about the scoring title and all that, but uh, you're still performing at a really high level. I mean, does it feel like with your numbers like technically down, does it feel like you have to, you're doing less or is it just like, I don't know if that makes sense. Sorry if that's a dumb question. No, I know. I, I hear what you're saying. Uh, I, I don't know what numbers down mean. No, I mean like from like 36 to 30, you know, nothing. It's not like super down, but yeah, 
I hear you what you're saying in a way, Matt, but 30 is still 30. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to focus on going out and, and winning that. Like, I don't need to score 40, 50 every night. Like, cause I have a lot of help on our team. So I don't need to do that. Uh, would I like to win it a hundred percent, but I'm not trying to go out each and every night chucking the ball up, trying to trying to win a scoring title. I want to try to get in the playoffs and help my team win. In the last five games, you have five straight wins. Did you see any real growth on the way that you play? Said who? The team? As a team, yes. Yeah, I mean, we closing games out, most importantly, playing together. Uh, we have some stretches throughout the game where we, you know, teams make runs. But we one thing we do is we execute out of time. I was doing a better job of that. Uh, the closing quarter as well. Uh, finishing games as well. Fred? Hey, Russ. Uh, obviously, super rare that you guys have played a three-center rotation for such a long time. What what has that been like? What kind of element has that given you guys to be able to rely on three guys in your rotation who all play that position? Oh, it's been great, man. Janae. Glad in the win tonight. You guys are currently 24 and 33 right now. You know, um, with this late into the season, you know, you guys are tied with Chicago right now as far as that 10th spot for the play in tournament. What types of things are being said right now to kind of keep you guys motivated with, you know, this chunk of the season left um, sitting where you guys are right now? Um, nothing, actually. We just going out and competing. You know, we get a chance to have a lot of people healthy. Um, at the same time, it's good for us. I'm just trying to take care of home, taking one game at a time, um, and that's all we can do. Neil? Hey, Russ. Uh, starting with this home CN, you guys have had some friends and family. I saw you wave uh, to some of the Upper Decker suites. In this, you know, chaotic season, how nice is it to, you know, just have a little bit of normalcy to see some familiar face uh, while playing? Um. You know, it's good. You get your family and stuff to come to the game. Um, you know, especially with such an ironic year for everybody and especially for DC. So um, it's good to be able to get some people in the arena. Hey, Davis, uh, congrats on the birth of your son. Thank you. Um, I heard you talking to, you know, Drew Gooden and Justin Kutcher about saying, oh, last time you had your daughter, you know, you got on this role. Just, you know, where are you this season, you know, this month so far coming back from the cast train? It seems like this is clearly, you know, the most locked in um, and, you know, hot shooting you've had all season. Well, I think uh, shooting wise, the past couple of months have been uh, pretty solid. But uh, I think overall, the, like since coming back from the injury, kind of the rest reset my body. And uh, I think I've been doing a better job on uh, on the defensive end of the floor than, uh, than before. And uh, that's what I've been trying to focus on more. And, you know, when offense, when the shots come to me, I take them. If I don't, just give my best I got on, on defensive end. Ava? Davis, congratulations. Thank you. What have the um, past few days been like for you? Uh, well, since we got back from the road trip, uh, basically all started the first night already. So. Uh, yeah, I've been home helping my wife any way I can, and now after the birth, uh, same thing, just just helping whatever whatever she needs, whatever the baby needs, running up and down the stairs, bringing everything. So that's that's how it's been. And uh, yesterday, I got a chance to get in the gym and uh, get a workout in, just to kind of get a little sweat going before coming for the game. I was gonna ask, what is it like having to focus on a game when you've got a new baby at home? Is it kind of easy for you to switch into that mode? Uh, once you step on the court, uh, everything else kind of disappears. You just focus on the game and, uh, you know, just kind of get locked in, in that mindset. And, you know, once the game's over, then you start thinking about what, what really matters. Fred? Hey, hey Davis. Um, do you buy into the uh, commonly held theory that guys tend to play better right after they have kids? Well, from what I've seen and experienced myself, uh, yes. You know, I had a friend of mine who was playing in Spain, had a similar situation, you know, 
the first couple of weeks was going off and and some of, we've seen plenty of that uh, I think in the NBA and, and around the world and uh you know, in some way, I think it's all, all the positive emotions you get out of it. It's just something you don't, like, not everybody can experience all the time. So it's just something that is so incredible. And uh, just being basically in a room and seeing what my wife had to go through, it just, you know, basketball is easy. And last question to Christos. Hello, Davish. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. I would like to ask you, what did, from your perspective, what did you notice as the biggest growth of your team the last five, especially in the last five games? Uh, I think it's just the energy we play in uh, our game. We're not trying to kind of adapt to what are the other teams are doing. And, you know, on defense, the energy has been there. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, you come out with energy and... Uh, you know, you're going to have some games you're going to make a lot of shots. Some games you're not going to make shots. But as long as you put the energy on the effort on the defensive end, you can keep teams from scoring a lot. You always give yourself a good chance to win. And I think in, in the last games, it's, it's been like that.